beekeepers. It's March 9th, 2022. And I went through my window colonies and I knew it was going to be bad for as far as how well the colonies are doing, but it was worse than I expected. You see, you see the amount of frames that I've taken out. All these frames I took them out. Why? Because the colonies are too small. And I put in my insulated fillers here. That way it keeps the wax moths under control. And this basically, you know, two of them didn't have queens. And a majority of them, and especially on the east side, too small to do brood. You know, I've used this, uh, this is my eighth winter, about ready to complete nine years. And I've always used uh, Global Patties from Better Bee. And this is the first winter. I tried Man Lakes Ultra Bee. Last winter, when I ran out of the Global Patties, I couldn't get it. In time from Better Bee. So I, I tried Man Lakes Ultra, Ultra Bee and they wouldn't switch from the Global Patties to the Ultra Bee. So I thought, okay, that's not very good. So then I bought this Dadant AP23 and it's not any better. None of my colonies, I put it in the end of January, around January 28th, none of my colonies, none of them started brood. And those colonies that were in the windows, or they're in the windows now. They were down in my basement, so it wasn't because they weren't warm enough. It's because this stuff doesn't get the bees interested in doing brood. See, what I did is I replaced, I took out all the old stuff because it gets dry. See, this right here is the Man Lake. This is the, the Dance AP23. None of them touched it. So I can't, I can't recommend AP23. I can't recommend Man Lake's Ultra B. I just wished I could get the global... Patties, this Canadian product, there's no writing on the box. Better Bee is the only place that sells it. And they jerked me around last winter. Didn't let me know my order wasn't going to be fulfilled for a whole month. That's not acceptable, Better Bee. So, we're going to have some teens, overnight teens here in a few days. What I would do, if it was going to be warm, what I would do is I'd take my large colonies here. I'm going to go through these today and tomorrow. Check and see if they all have queens. I haven't done my large ones yet. I've done all the other ones. I'm going to go through those. Check, see if they have queens. And if they don't have a queen, I'll take out one of the smallest colonies. But I'm expecting they all have queens. If they didn't have a queen, I would have noticed it by now. The colony would be very, very small. And if it was going to be warm enough, what I could do if those colonies were doing just fine, I could take the queen out and some of the bees... And make a nuke and take it to another location because I know I don't have enough nurse bees. I wouldn't leave them here on my property. I'd take them to another location where the workers would have to stay with that hive. And then I would give these bees here a new queen. If it was going to be warm enough. But it's not going to be warm enough. If I separate these colonies and we get overnight teens, I risk losing everything. So what do I do? I don't know. I'm going to sit down, have my lunch, have a glass of wine, and I'm going to think about it. I may end up losing half of these in the window. You know, I, I may not do small colonies anymore end of summer. I may stop at end of June. Um, what it is is toxic chemicals in the environment. The smaller your colony going into winter, the more likely you're not going to have anything left coming out of winter. Because your bees are dying throughout winter. The larger colonies, yeah, they're dying, but they're still going to have enough that they can restart. And during the summer, they're dying, but the queen's replacing them. So it's the toxic chemicals. It's not the varroa mites. I, I worked my ass off to get rid of the varroa mites, and I gave them one more treatment at the end of December. I'm not finding any varroa mites. I did a colony a couple days ago, number 51. It was out here. It got small. I could not find any dead varroa mites in it. It's not the varroa mites. The scam in this country is they're blaming varroa mites for our losses. It's not the varroa mites. It's the toxic chemicals the crop farmers are polluting our environment. It's killing us. It's causing cancer. I've been I've been to a hospital where people are in there getting cancer treatment. Young people. My wife has no upper body, no chest, okay? She's had a double mastectomy to save her life, and that was a, over a year ago. So I know firsthand what cancer does to people, okay? And you guys sit back, and you don't do a goddamn thing about it. You guys are a bunch of stupid, spineless, brainless, 
propagandized idiots, okay? Thank you.